Hey guys, welcome back to another taste test. Uh, this is the yearly Christmas uh, candy taste test. Yeah, we'll just uh, jump into it. Mm -hmm. We have a selection of things from different countries. Some of it is Norwegian, we have some from others as well. Yeah, I see Sweden is represented uh, well here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most of this is uh, new. Yeah, some of it, yeah, some of it is, is new and some of it is, is just new to us. Yeah. I think. I want to start with this. Okay. This is uh, double cookies. Uh, so it's gingerbread cookies filled with chocolate. So they've basically taken what we call safari biscuits. Two of them sandwiched them between some uh, chocolate ganache. Or Maryland cookies. Oh yeah. Like it is, yeah. But it is, uh, I think it's gingerbread flavored. All right. But it is, it, it is actually the cookie. You can see that this is the bottom and this is, so they're just like taking it and just filled it. Yeah. <laughs> Lazy, but uh. But shouldn't they have just. They should have just flipped it. Flipped the bottom? So it's. Yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> I like it. I just feel like the cookie could be a little bit thinner. But yeah. I do really like it. Like, it's a good gingerbread flavor. And the chocolate is has a nice flavor as well. The gingerbread flavor is actually quite spot on. It's well balanced. Yeah. But I didn't taste too much of the chocolate. But I like the thickness of it. Yeah. So you get like that contrast between the biscuit and the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And me too. I, I really, really liked it. But I don't know if it's like, wow, I want to buy that again. No, I've tried other stuff which is better. Yeah. But I do think it deserves... Seven. seven. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, Swedish Juleskum, which is like foam candy with banana and caramel. And yes. it's this year's flavor. It yeah. says so on the box. <laughs> that tasted a lot less than I thought it would. Yeah, it, it smells a lot more banana than it tastes. Yeah. But that's a good, yeah, I was, good surprise. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, it's kind of like, it, it still tastes really good. Yeah. It's just like a sweet, uh, more caramelly flavor. Yeah. So it's yeah, sweet. I actually really like that. Yeah, sweet and like typical foam candy flavor, but with like a very, very slight hint of banana and caramel. Mm. I actually really like that as well. I think it's a seven and a half. I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half. Let's go for some chips. Yep. We have two. We have one that is Christmas soda and the other one that is uh, ribbe. I think we've had, ribbe is like a typical Norwegian Christmas meal. Mm -hmm. I think we've had that several years, but I think they reformulated it for this year. This one is, uh, yeah, julebrus, as I said. So it's like the Christmas soda we have here, the red one. I'm very excited for this. So I'm, maybe we should start with that. Yeah, I'm excited for it, but I'm also kind of like not having my hopes too high. No, I'm thinking, how can this be julebrus? It's weird. <laughs> it has like a red powder around. So it doesn't smell like it at least. It smells like nothing. That is the red Christmas soda. That it's is the um, raspberry. Flavor. Yeah, it's like a, a sweet raspberry flavor. Mm -hmm. Wow. Damn. They're like taking a cow and candy type powder and just like dusted it on yeah, it. Yeah, it's like they boil down Christmas soda and just sprinkle it on top. That is very interesting. That is interesting. I'm not going to say it's like. I, it's not the one I would choose if I was gonna buy it, but I'm glad I tried it because mm -hmm. it's interesting. I, I think it's I applaud them for doing crazy shit. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking maybe seven and a half. Yeah, I was gonna say the same that I think it's very. I think it's fun, mm -hmm. and I think I'm glad we tried it. But I wouldn't buy it again no. now having tried it. What did you say? Give it seven and a half. Oh, maybe an eight. Oh no. That, that, I think that would mean you, you would buy it again. Isn't it? Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I... I feel like it's, it's, a, it's a fun, like the... I want to say the invention gets seven and a half. Yeah. But the result get six. All right, I'll say six and a half. Okay. Okay. But I'll give them 10 for effort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um, we should go for something to drink. Yeah. So I think last year we tested this brand, Spirit of Sweden, mm -hmm. and they had a bunch of Christmassy flavors. I don't remember if you tasted this one, but this is gingerbread. This is pepperkaka <laughs> in uh, Swedish. Pepparkaka in Swedish and pepperkaka in Norwegian. So yeah. It's pretty similar. Pretty similar. Candy soda with taste of gingerbread and fudge. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like glug. It smells it? like mulled wine. Ooh, then maybe we're in, in for something. I'm not sold on that one. The aftertaste is kind of good, but the, the immediate flavor you get is yeah. not, not very good. But the aftertaste is pleasant though, so you, you kind of want to take another sip, but it's just the immediate it, flavor that was a bit like, ooh. Uh, it's kind of, it's, uh, it's not bad, 
Drinking more of it now, I feel like I feel like it's so much better. The first sip is like very like wow, but now it just tastes like a watered out mold wine with the sparkle. With uh, you're right, sparkle, yeah, with the uh, bubbles. Yeah, bubbles. Yeah, it, actually, it's better the more you drink of it. Yeah, it is. I'm not sure if I would buy it again, but I'm not a mold wine, wine um, lover, so I would maybe choose this over mold wine. Oh really? Okay, yeah. Uh, I would take mold wine over that. Or probably just do neither. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I feel like it's a it's a six and a half. It's a six and a half. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a solid six and a half. Yeah. So I think we actually had Dumble in the last test, didn't we? Yeah, I think yep. so in some of the previous tests and we talked about it being like uh, caramel candy here in Norway and they have come out with a uh, bag of brownie gingerbread and polka mint so you want to do the brownie first okay so it's chocolate covered um, fudge Ooh, or it caramel it smells like brownie I think it just tasted like a more chocolatey dumle to be yeah. honest so yeah so it did not brownie but but still a really good chocolate flavor yeah. I mean, it tasted like dark, good chocolate. Yeah. But I think maybe I would just prefer a regular dumbbell because it's more caramel flavor. Yeah. And I like that more. I agree. So this is the gingerbread. Yeah. I, I keep getting like small hints of something that might be ginger, gingerbread, but it's nothing. It tastes more like just a normal caramel. Hmm, to me, I tasted, I tasted gingerbread. Oh. Yeah. The beginning is very subtle, it takes a while because you have to chew it a while to get the flavor out. But when it's there, it's very prominent gingerbread flavor to me. Oh. And uh, at the end there, when I was chewing it, I felt like I was chewing gingerbread... Ginger dough, like gingerbread oh. dough. Oh! Yeah. Okay, well then maybe there's some with mine because I didn't taste <laughs> too much ginger. No, I did taste it and it's, it's good. I like that it's subtle. But I would, again, just take a normal dumbbell, I think. But I was pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. Let's try the polka. Polka mint. Oh, there it is. That is like straight up after eight yeah. in a dumbbell form. Yeah. It was like instantaneously. Yeah. And it's a good mellow rounded like mint. It's not, yeah. it's not too strong. No, oh, yeah. But it's it's like it's um it's okay. I feel like our palates change a bit after doing all of these taste tests and after tasted, tasting mint so many times. Mm -hmm. So now it's like I I enjoy it, but it would be I would only have one, and it would be the last sweet thing I had. Yep, it it is like the perfect finisher. Yeah, it is. It's exactly that. But I don't think we would buy that bag again. No. So I'm giving the bag six. I'm uh, actually gonna give it a seven oh. because uh, it's good, and if you're a dumbbell lover, I think you would enjoy the variety. Oh, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. It's gonna be hard to get this mint flavor out of the mouth. Yeah. Do you want to do the yogurt? Yeah, let's just do that. To get it out of the way, this is a uh, skier, so it's like a Icelandic yogurt, and they have come out with a Yuleskum flavor, which is uh, foam the foam candy. Was it last year we had a Christmas soda flavor, wasn't it? Oh and yeah. And now it's. Uh, the foam candy. That's what it was. It was uh, <laughs> Christmas soda flavor. It's just a strawberry yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically a strawberry yogurt with a Christmas uh, packaging. It's good though. It's, it, it's good. Seven. Yeah, seven. So this is gingerbread cookies, like gingerbread cookies. Cookie, cookie, cookies. <laughs> yeah, cookie cookies <laughs> so with... Cookies flavored with gingerbread. Yeah. They're smaller than I thought it was. It's so be. much smaller than I thought and they're so much darker. Yeah, look at the size of the box and the size of these. It's like, <laughs> yeah. what? Mm. Very subtle on the gingerbread flavor. So it has less gingerbread flavor than the other, the double cookies. Yeah, but do you know what it tastes like? Exactly like homemade Norwegian gingerbread, which is just slightly burnt. Yeah. It is, it's like the ones that are extra crispy in the oven. When you take that out and eat it, it's that flavor, mm -hmm. 100%. And I like it. <laughs> yeah, me too. I do think this, the chocolate, uh, between would be even better than that one. I agree. I'm not the biggest gingerbread lover, so I think it's just it's, it's just a seven. I think I would go eight. Eight? Yeah. Now I think this was out last year, so it's uh, uh, Christmas uh, iced coffee mocha. We might have tested it last year, but we can't remember, so that will just make <laughs> this uh, a new test for us. <laughs> yeah, and what makes it Christmas? I have no idea. 
No, me neither. I guess it's just the packaging. Yeah, I think so too. Mm. It's a nice coffee with no Christmas. No Christmas. And mocha is, well, it's just like a slightly chocolate flavored latte. Yeah. Well, mocha. I don't really get that much um, chocolate in this. No. But it's good. It's, it's good. delicious. I really like iced coffee. Yeah. The iced coffees are really good. I don't know, maybe eight and a half. Yeah, I agree. Eight and a half. I just wish it was stronger. A stronger coffee. Yeah. Let's do the other... Oh, maybe we should do the other chip. Yeah, let's do the other chip. So this is the Hiba flavor. It's kind of like uh, bacon. Yeah, it smells yeah. smells like bacon. What's that called in English? Uh, bacon squid? Doesn't taste like Hiba. Mm -mm. But it does taste exactly like a, 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 a what's it called? Bacon crisp. Bacon crisp was yeah. the word I was looking bacon for. Bacon crisp. Th that's exactly what I was thinking about. Ba it tastes like that, smells like that, but very subtle though. It and is. I feel like the first bites were like very, was not subtle. <laughs> but <laughs> the more I ate it, the more subtle it became. Yeah. I, or I just got used to it. But it's... actually I enjoyed it more at the end. Because I had a couple of bites. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I would buy that again. I would rather have another one. Yeah, there's so many other flavors to have which are better. But if you like bacon crisp, I would recommend trying Go ahead. That. Yeah, but I think it's a six. Seven. All right, so we have two more. We have this now. Okay. I want to have that last. All right, okay. So this is another Yuleskum Christmas like foam candy. It's the Santa foam candy thingy. <laughs> These are covered in chocolate. It's the same brand as the other one, isn't it? Yeah, Coletta. Was this the last year's thing? I, or? I can't remember. Oh, they're stars. So, the Swedes love their foam, ca foam candy. Yeah. It says it's chocolate-covered uh, foam with the taste of vanilla. But I'm getting like a weirdly gingerbread flavor. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, what? Vanilla? It tastes like gingerbread. That's weird. That's very weird. And the chocolate is kind of dark and more decadent. Yeah, but and it's good. It is really good. I like the texture on this. This is so much easier to chew than the other one. Yeah. This doesn't hurt my jaw as no, much. That one's really soft. Yeah, so I like the texture. I like the size, but it's just, it's just so much other candy I would rather choose over this, mm -hmm. but I would definitely eat it. So it's, I think it's also a six and a half. I'm very low in, on this in this test. I'm giving a seven. Okay. Yeah. I don't feel like Christmas things this year has been like top notch. No. I feel like they're folded it in. <laughs> yeah, they're running out of ideas. Yeah. But the last one is the one I'm most excited about. Me too. This is Richard Sport White Cinnamon Crisp. That smelt very Ooh. cinnamony. Oh, that's very a lot of cinnamon. Cinnamony. Now, cinnamon pairs really well with white chocolate. I know. That's really good. You know what I get? I get um, the Riesen Yeah. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah, that's right. A, yeah, exactly. Rice porridge? Yeah. Oh my God, the, the pieces, the cinnamon pieces, they're not like, they're like cookie texture, but it's just the perfect crunch and the perfect cinnamon flavor. Yeah. And it's just like eating a, like a hard uh, rice porridge. It, it is exactly, the, the flavor is exactly like rice porridge yeah. with sugar and cinnamon. That was Damn. the highlight and I just love their packaging. I, that was uh, the highlight of the test for me. I'm not a white chocolate person. No. But I do think that this is um, between eight and a half and a nine. I'm giving it a nine. Okay, I'm giving it a nine too. It's a nine. Yeah. So you don't have to ask. This is the, the the winner of the test yep. for me. Um, is there any other winners? I mean, the gingerbread cookies, those were good, but I, I, this one, it, this is the winner. Yeah, That's not I think I would sadly maybe not buy anything of this again. Just the coffee. The coffee. The coffee I would yeah, definitely um, buy. But this one. Mm -hmm. I would 100% buy again. Hopefully there's more stuff out next year. Maybe they just needed this year to just like <laughs> not come up with anything. And then next year it's like, wow, we have all this. Yeah, we, we are in a recession. Yeah. <laughs> so let's, uh, next year we're on the up and up. Yeah. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed watching us, even though it wasn't that um, positive. <laughs> <laughs> and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.